Welcome to this video about the key directive in Blazor. When we change the appearance of a Blazor component, Blazor is not going to refresh the whole page or the whole component, but only these parts of the UI that have changed. This is also called the diffing algorithm. Uh, diffing stands for the differences, so the differences uh, between the, the virtual DOM and the real DOM. If you use Blazor server, this is very uh, transparent. So I go to the developer tools. I make uh, just a refresh so that I see the web sockets. Here I go to the messages. Now, um, when I here click the counter, here we only see, so this is coming from the server. Uh, here we see the one. So that's because the counter is a one now. I re-click it, so here I see the two. So this shows us that Blazor is only uh, giving us the, the difference between uh, the, the virtual DOM and, and here the real DOM. So it's not that the whole page has, has to be re-rendered. That's the diffing algorithm. And sometimes this algorithm can lead to unwanted results. And when we have these unwanted results, add key, is a, a, a nice way to, to get over them. So I just go into main layout. Here, delete everything out. So we will make a quick, I will make a quick example. Now here in host, I'm going to delete the links to these two files. Take the error section out. And now I'm going to index, delete everything here as well. Now I style it. Very quick, I set the margin to zero because otherwise we would have uh, these scroll bars because per default margin is about like eight pixels. So here I'm just gonna create uh, some sections and I just also Now, because here I've defined a transition, of course, I have to somehow change a property value, otherwise we would never have a transition. So if you hover it, uh, it's going to be white. And here I have to display these 10 sections. Uh, to display them, I first uh, have to generate them. I just call it now UI. It will and the UI, also, yeah, I create a class, one property, which displays if the, the UI section is clicked or not. This is just to show you um, that sometimes you have to use the, the bespoken directive. Now here in the constructor of the component, I'm going to initialize them. going to create 10 of them because they are the, the, their height is 10% of the of the page new UI and here call to list now here I just uh, enumerate over them and then I make a little uh, condition here so if the if they are clicked we will display them with a background of white otherwise they will be in dodger blue now of course uh, somehow I have to, to make them uh, um, to set the uh, there is clicked property here, therefore I'm going to uh, subscribe to this event here, uh, make it, uh, uh, we want to, uh, to, um, to display the current one uh, in white, but also reset all the other ones. So because it's a list, I have to for each method. So for each uh, element in this list, I'm going to set is click to false. And then I'm going to 
set is click property from the the click pro uh, yeah the click section to true. Uh, so uh, let's have a look. Okay, so now uh, we see here our uh, little transition. Uh, now, if I click it, maybe the frames are not uh, high enough in, in the video, but you see it, it's it's kind of flickering. So I click here and then you see it here also just for a small moment. So this shows that the diffing algorithm uh, of Blazor is not uh, working in our desired way. So how we can, how we can prevent this? Uh, here I am going to add like a, a unique identifier. I call it ID. Uh, I just make it settable over the constructor. Uh, so now here I can just uh, pass pass this to the constructor. So we have now. Uh, as we had before, 10 uh, UI objects, 1 to 10. And now here, I can use the, the key directive. And I make here the binding to the ID of the item. And this works because this is a, like a personal identifier. And now if I do this, uh, I don't know the, the exact inner workings, but it just helps Blazor to keep the, the relationship between the section and the item. And now if I click it, we see it works as expected. We don't have the, the, flickery, the flickery thing. So uh, as I mentioned, I'm not too deep into the diffing algorithm that Blazor uses, but if you encounter something, uh, you have a list and then you change the elements over it and then you see an unexpected behavior, I would, uh, uh, recommend you to to try out the uh, key directive uh, because I think in most uh, cases it will help. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.